Okay, um, here I'm going to show uh, configuring C64 OS to use networking with the Ultimate 2 Plus. Um, this version is not an L, so it's not on uh, Wi-Fi, but it is connected with an Ethernet cable. Um, I've just freshly booted up into C64 OS. Um, I've got App Launcher already uh, banked in uh, the REU. Like so, and I've gone over to File Manager. And I went to the system and then settings directory, and I'm gonna sh just going to delete my, I'm going to scratch my network settings file. Um, I haven't booted anything yet that uses the network. So um, the network has, network settings have not been loaded in, the modem's not been configured or anything like that. So I'm just going to remove this network settings file just so that we get a clean slate. And I'm going to go back over to App Launcher. And I'm going to push this little button on the front of my Commodore 64 so that we can see what the settings are. So I hit um, F2 and then come down here into cartridges. No, not cartridges, modem settings. And we see, so we've got a CIA Swift Link. And we have um, a bunch of options in here, but I'm going to use DE00 NMI. NMI is the, the standard for Swift Link. These are all pretty much okay. Um, active low, uh, active one connected, active one connected. So these three should be like this. Active low, active one connected, active one connected. Now if I uh, come back up here, I'll say save. We can see here that the link is up. Now that's because um, I have an ethernet cable plugged in and it has acquired a it has acquired an IP address. You can also go down here, push, pushing F2, we can go down here to network settings, where you can configure the settings of your network. Um, I've turned on DHCP, so I don't think these here are being used. Um, but as you can see here, as soon as I left that, we have link up. So next we're gonna go over to um, our network utility. So we can, I've got this on the desktop here, but one way you can you could do it is going uh, from the uh, utilities menu, choose settings. And this is gonna open the settings utility. And from the hardware section, so you can access the network utility from inside any application if there's enough memory. Um, there's not really enough memory to run the network utility inside File Manager. That's why I'm running it from App Launcher. But you could run it from inside, like Wikipedia or some other app. So I'll click this to open the network utility. Now, um, I have deleted my network.t file, right? So this is all back to nothing. So I'm going to go drivers are uh, not the user port. So we've got a Swiftlink DE Xi modem, not that. Swiftlink DF Xi modem. Swiftlink DE U64, or Ultimate 2 Plus. That's good. These actually don't really matter. Um, I'm gonna set this to, um, I'm gonna set this actually to uh, 38.4, and I'm gonna set this one to 38.4. I'll hit save. And this test has already passed. So next, um, under the Wi-Fi tab, we, we don't actually need anything because we don't actually have any Wi-Fi, so this, we can just say test, say test here. And we'll hit save on that. And we'll hit join. And you see that the fact that it replies with the word ultimate tells us that um, th this word actually has been returned by the driver um, when you connect to the modem. So we're gonna go here, type in services.c64os.com because I'm using the one provided by opcoders. It's on port 6400. Got my username, this, and my password. Oh, I messed it up. Hold on. Okay. Uh, nice star field. That's nice. We can share this without giving away my password. I'm going to hit save on that. And here I'm going to hit start. That's it. Now if we click here, 
we can see we are online. Now if I, um, I can also stop this if I want. Okay, now I'm not online. This says offline. Um, I'm gonna hit start though. Okay, so now I'm online. I'm gonna close this and you can see that we're still online here. Next, I'm gonna open, say the moon phase utility, just as a test. And it is going to fetch the moon phase for this date, which it just did from the internet. Um, I can actually leave this open and then go into Wikipedia. Here, I will search for uh, Star Trek, one of my favorite subjects. And here, I'm going to click here just to see the downloading progress. Okay, so it's fetching and caching the article. Here, it's downloading it. And here is our article. So that is literally all that you need to do from stem to stern. It should be all you need to do from stem to stern to get online. And uh, there we have it.